Hey, I'm Tassie. And I'm Zach. And we're here today from the Healthy Kids Coalition to talk with you about the benefits of eating fruits and vegetables. A few times during this video, you'll see this, which means pause the video so that you can think about or talk to your friends about something we've just learned. So Tassie, I know there are three important things about eating fruits and vegetables that I'm supposed to know, but I kind of forgot them today. No, oh, no problem. We all go through that sometimes. The first one is that healthy vegetables and fruits are good for your brain and your body. Brain and body. Okay, I can remember that. What's the Alrighty. second thing? The second one is that healthy fruits and vegetables are full of vitamins, minerals, and phytonutrients. You don't have to remember all that. Okay. Just think of them as little fix-it workers. Oh. Yeah. They fix the stuff inside your body when it wears out, when you work hard and play hard, and can even keep you from getting sick. Okay, I can remember that. Fix-it workers. All right, and what's the third thing? The third thing is that you have to eat a whole rainbow of fruits and vegetables to get all those different fix-it workers. Oh, rainbow of vegetables. Okay, I think I can remember that. So what healthy fruit or vegetable are we going to talk about today, Zach? Well, I'll give you a hint. We're wearing shirts that are the same color as the fruit or vegetable that we're going to taste today. So did everyone figure out that we're wearing orange today? Can you think of any fruits or vegetables that are orange? Go ahead and pause the video here and see how many you can think of. Did anyone come up with clementines? I was close, I think. I thought of oranges. That is pretty close. And you're kind of right. Yeah? A clementine is a kind of tangerine or mandarin orange. Oh. The fun thing about clementines is that they are seedless. You know what else is fun, Zach? Yeah. Games. Games? I love games. Let's play one. Yeah. This game is called Leaf, Stem, Fruit, Root. Okay. It's where we try to guess what part of the plant clementines are. You want to play? Yeah, I do. So we have to guess whether this clementine is the leaf, the stem, the fruit, or the root. Yep. Uh, you want a little hint? I'm a little confused, yeah. Okay. Well, let's take a look at this growing tree. Okay. Um, can you find some leaves? Yep. Yeah. Green leaves leaves, leaves yep. are always easy. Mm -hmm. And now the stem, or in this case, the trunk. That Can you find that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And those roots, they like to hide under the soil. Okay. So I'm not going to see those so too easily. found mm -hmm. those. Okay. But I bet you can find, the, you can see the clementines. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I'm on to it now. All right. So let's pause here and see what you guess. Okay, I think I know. Did you guess fruit? I did. It looks like the clementine is the fruit growing from the stem of the plant. You are right, Zach. Yes. The clementine is the fruit. So could I grow clementines in my backyard garden? Sure you can grow clementines outside. If you lived in a warmer climate, maybe. Oh. You can grow a dwarf tree in your house, maybe. Oh. Uh, if you have a nice, warm, sunny spot. But it'll That's take great. about five years before you actually get a clementine. Oh, uh, well, I mean, it would be fun to watch it grow, and maybe I'll do that, but I kind of want to eat one sooner. Is there any way to get them sooner than that? Yeah, you can go to the supermarket and pick some up. They make a great snack at school or at home. So I like to just like peel the clementine and, and eat it, but are there other ways to eat them? Uh, there sure are. You can toss slices on a salad, you can put them in a smoothie, but I like to just bring them along almost everywhere I go. It's an easy, quick snack, because it's got its own wrapper. That's awesome. So do you have clementines in front of you right now? Because here's the fun part. We're going to eat them now. But first, take a close look at them and see what they look like. See if you see what we're talking about, that there's no seeds inside them. And when you pick them up, see how they feel in your fingers. Now bring them up to your nose and smell them. What do they smell like? And as you bite into it, notice whether or not it makes a sound. And lastly, take that bite and see how it tastes. See how sweet it is? See what it tastes like to you. So you want to know a crazy fact about clementines? Yeah, I love your crazy fact. <laughs> clementines were an accidental cross between a mandarin orange and a regular orange. Really? Yeah. Those mandarin oranges came all the way from China. Really? So it was an accident? Yeah. Someone just had two nearby each other and they made clementines. That's neat. Mm -hmm. So they're also lower in sugar than a regular orange, even though most people think they taste sweeter. I didn't know that. These are cool facts. So why are these clementines so good for us to eat though? All right, clementines are good for us because they have all kinds of phytonutrients and vitamins. Those are just the fix-it guys. Oh, the fix-it guys, okay. Yeah. Um, and some of those fix-it guys have easy names. Easy like vitamin. Yeah, 
vitamin C, oh. vitamin B9, vitamin B1 and B5, and potassium and phosphorus. The last two are kind of tricky, but yeah, I can say most of those names. A little tricky, but not as tricky as the tongue twisters. Tongue twisters? Yeah. We've got cryptoxanthin. Cryptoxanthin? Very good. That sounds like a code word or something. Or something that Superman's afraid yeah. of. Yeah. <laughs> and that's in there? That's in there, and wow. it's good for you. There's also naringenin. Naringenin? Yep. Wow. I, okay. And herperidin. Herperidin? Mm -hmm. Am I going to have to remember all of these things? Oh, no, don't worry, you won't. But there is one thing, one extra thing you should remember with okay. these. Not all of those are found in the orange part. No? What other part is there? Some of them are in that white part that sticks to the orange when you take the peel off. Can you eat that part? You can. It's really good for you. Really? Yeah, so you should resist the urge to pick it all off. Oh, just eat the whole thing. Yeah. That's cool. But with all these words we just talked about, am I going to have to like write them down and take notes every time I oh, eat Oh, no, no, no. There's just three easy things to remember. Okay. All right. Number one, these fruits and vegetables are good for your brain and your body. Oh, I remember that. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number two, they have the fix-it workers that fix stuff that wear out and keep you from getting sick. The fix-it workers, yeah. right. Okay, got it. And number three, you have to get the whole rainbow to get all the different kinds of fix-it workers. Right, I gotta eat all the colors of the rainbow. Okay, yeah, I think I can remember that. That's a lot easier. Now, can you remember these three things about fruits and vegetables? We'll pause here so that you can see how many you can remember. Thank you for watching this episode all about clementines. Now you know that you can watch us again and again at home with your friends and family as often as you like. And the next time you're at the store, think about buying some yummy clementines to have for your snack at school or home. Let us know in the comments below what you thought about eating clementines and where you like to eat them. And I'm curious to know how many of you have eaten them before. And as always, let us know if you have questions. We'll try to answer them. Until next time, I'm Zach. And I'm Tassie. And, and now, now you know. know.